even more ferocious than the Cape Buffalo or Black Mamba. The hippopotamus is vastly underrated. With teeth 20 inches long and skin that oozes red liquid, the hippo is revered as one of the most aggressive creatures on the planet, as well as the most dangerous animal in Africa, as it's responsible for more human fatalities than any other large animal. Step aside, lion, tiger, and bear. Here are seven reasons why the hippopotamus is the deadliest land animal on Earth. Seven, hippo habitat. A large, semi-aquatic species, the hippopotamus is found wading or wallowing in the majestic rivers and lakes of sub-Saharan Africa. Deriving from the ancient Greek name meaning river horse, the hippo is nothing like those lean chariots of the wild. In fact, pigs, whales, and dolphins are the closest living relatives of the two species of hippo in existence, the common hippo and the much smaller pygmy hippo. The common variety takes the bait as the third largest living land mammal, after white rhinos and elephants. Since these massive mammals have so much surface area, they must find a way to adapt in extreme sub-Saharan heat. As Africa lies along the equator directly under the sun's scorching rays, it's no wonder hippos spend up to 16 hours a day submerged in water. Conveniently equipped with their eyes, ears, and nostrils on the very top of their head, these animals can hear, see, and breathe while most to all of their body is still underwater. To do so, a clear membrane covers and protects their eyes when they're about to take a murky dip and have a clear vision of the activity lurking below. Their nostrils close to keep water out, and hippos can hold their breath for up to five minutes or longer. Even more impressive is that they can sleep underwater as a reflex allows the creature to bob up every few minutes to take a breath and sink back down without disturbance to their sleep. Despite the time spent in the water, however, hippos cannot swim. Rather, they use their webbed feet to move around by pushing off the bottom of the riverbed or simply rambling along in a slow-motion gallop, lightly touching the bottom with their toes. At dusk, just as the hot sun begins to melt, hippos venture out of the water and travel inland to graze. Sometimes the group moves up to six miles in a night along a single file pathway. These hungry, hungry hippos can easily devour from 80 to 100 pounds of grass in one meal, though two days' worth can be stored away inside their stomachs, allowing for the hippo to go an easy three weeks without worry. As these amazing beasts are herbivores, they will chomp down any plant present. Though their ideal meal and entire diet consist mainly of marshy grasses, 6. Characteristics Despite its namesake mirroring that of a horse, cetaeans, such as whales and porpoises, are the closest relatives to the hippopotamus. Diverging from these aquatic beauties around 55 million years ago, the hippo has remained a water animal, as it spends much of its time inhabiting shallow lakes, rivers, streams, and swamps. These giants are about 10 to 16 feet long. 5 feet tall, with the females weighing a whopping 3,000 pounds, and their male counterparts nearing an astonishing 10,000 pounds. Generally, a hippo will live 40 to 50 years in both captivity and in the wild, with the longest living hippopotamus exceeding a generous 61 years. Even more enormous than their size is their massive chompers, with canine and incisor teeth which never stop growing and reach an amazing 20 inches in length. These teeth are not for nothing, as the aggressive species use their canines for fighting. And the average hippo may look out of shape. Its short and stocky legs allow the animal to outrun any human by reaching an easy 19 miles per hour over short distances. The skin of a hippopotamus is very unique, as the beast must bear some time of protection under the wrath of the African sunshine. As far as the ecosystem is concerned, tiny fish and insects delight in the skin of a hippo, as they can keep busy feeding on the food particles and dead skin cells found on the hippo's body. Their hide must be kept wet for the better part of the day, as they lack scent and sweat glands completely. Rather, mucus glands secrete a red pigmented fluid that's thick and oily, giving it the nickname blood sweat. For centuries, many thought that this mixture was just that. A combination of blood and sweat which seemed to ooze out of the creature's paws, making it more menacing than ever. 
Instead, the liquid acts as a natural sunblock and skin moisturiser for the animal. Their stiff whiskers above the upper lip keep the fluid from entering their gaping mouths, and the fuzziness around their ears and on their tail help lock beads of moisture in. Hippos allowed too claim to be one of the noisiest animals in all of Africa. Hippo vocalisations have been measured at 115 decibels. That's like being 16 feet from the speakers at a rock concert. These curious creatures vocalise their wants and needs on both land and in water, making them the only mammal species to utter amphibious calls. Before we continue, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell to get notified for future releases. 5. The Hippo Siege Hippos are a very social species, living in groups that range from 10 to 100. These tight-knit bands are referred to as bloat, pod, or siege. These animals are extremely territorial and will save other creatures from death if it means making a point to another animal who has trespassed on their turf in search of a hasty meal. In fact, there are many accounts of hippos saving zebras and water buffaloes from the fatal jaws of a crocodile, though it can't be certain whether they have empathy for their victim or simply want to pass on the message of who can eat where. These beasts are only territorial in the water, and brutal attacks against their own kind have resulted in tearing an opponent to shreds, with one trying to prove his dominance over the other. A hippo will use its massive 20-inch teeth to bite and gnaw on the other, many times battling over a female or hierarchy of the herd. No matter the size of the group, even in the hundred range, they are always led by one male and one male only. This dominant leader has the right to mate with every female in the pack, while sometimes, maybe, they'll allow another subordinate male in and around his territory to mate. In African rivers, hippos are found huddled in their large bloats, and they appear like massive floating islands with birds pertly fishing from their backs. Turtles and even baby crocodiles have been spotted sunbathing on the oily surface of a submerged hippopotamus. 4. Hippo Nurturing the mating game for the hippo species is a very special event, as the females endure a similar time span to humans and only give birth to one baby at a time. While breeding can occur year-round, fertilisation generally happens in the months between February and August. The gestation period lasts for eight months, and due to the parental investment to their young, a female will usually only mate every other year. When the female is about to give birth, she will leave the group for one or two weeks to undergo the process in peace and allow ample time to bond with her newborn baby. She is comfortable doing so on land or in the water, and if the baby is born underwater, then the mother will need to push it to the surface to take its first breath. Mama Hippo will stay in the water with her young for several days without eating, until her baby is strong enough, before they dare leave the water at night to graze. A newborn hippo will weigh about 99 pounds and can suckle on land or underwater by closing their ears and nostrils. And for 18 months, mother and baby live in happy harmony this way. Eventually, mother and child muster up the courage to join another school of hippos in order to ensure protection against crocodiles, lions and hyenas. At 5 to 7 years old, the hippo calf is fully mature. 3. Hippo Protection the only predator to the hippopotamus is themselves and humans. While babies are vulnerable to lions and crocodiles, an adult hippo is safe from any other animal except for us and their own. In 2008, the IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature, classified the species as having vulnerable status. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, in particular, the population is in serious decline. Once found all over Central and Southern Africa, the hippopotamus was prominent around the Nile and could be found happily bathing up to the Mediterranean. Today, they only thrive in small pockets around Eastern Central and Southern Sub-Saharan Africa, but they continue to dwindle every year. The threat to their species stems from poachers, who hunt them for meat or the illustrious ivory in their teeth. Other risks posed by people are that their habitats are overcome by human settlements or the diversion of river sources for farming. Unfortunately, the fate of the hippo is widely linked to the fate of the entire food web and the functioning of whole ecosystems around African waterways. Despite being a deadly and aggressive bunch, their benefits will only reap appreciation once they're gone. 2. Hippos make the world go round Despite these not-so-gentle giants being highly aggressive, unpredictable, 
and display unsettling strength, their absence would have deadlier consequences than their presence. A species is vital to the success of other ecosystems, and as populations are threatened, their loss will result in the dying out of other species too. When you think of a massive herd submerged in water, poking and wading around, sometimes up to a hundred of them, you must wonder where all that waste goes. Millions of tons of hippo dung enter and travel through Africa's waterway each year. As evolution would so kindly have it, nature sought out the nutritional value in hippo excrement and found a way to benefit other life forms. The organic matter is a crucial component for a numerous amount of river fish and insects, and the waste from a hippopotamus is a valuable food and energy source for these terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Scientists know this because they have found the organic waste in species of fish and bugs, from birds, bats, snakes and spiders, and they found the rate of absorption is at its peak during the driest season, when the excrement is more available, as it's not broken down as easily by the rushing waters. It is around this time that life flourishes around sub-Saharan waterways. The continual decline of the hippo population will soon have a drastic impact on the aquatic food web and the overall health of the riverine environment will begin to suffer greatly. 1. When hippos attack Whether it be swallowed, chewed or drowned, there have been some strange cases involving human deaths by a hippopotamus. They are responsible for more fatalities in Africa than lions, tigers, cheetahs or even ostriches, killing up to 500 humans a year. You may have heard about the man who survived being swallowed alive by the hippo. But what about the countless others who didn't make it? Or the South African farmer who adored his pet hippo, named Humphrey, so much, that is, until it killed him. Marius Ells was a pioneer for agriculture and a humanitarian for taking in abandoned baby animals, which is exactly what happened with his hippo pal, Humphrey. The little guy had been raised by Ells since he was five months old, and videos display proof of a happy friendship, with the farmer happily feeding him apples, swimming alongside him, or riding the animals back. People think you can only have a relationship with dogs, cats and domestic animals, but I have a relationship with the most dangerous animal in Africa. Els told an interviewer, I trust him with my heart that he will not harm anybody. He added, in his interview, the man acknowledged the dangers of not only swimming with Humphrey, but also climbing his back and riding him like a horse. One evening, an ambulance was called to the scene where officials found that El had been bitten several times as Humphrey had simultaneously held his body underwater for an undetermined amount of time. The farmer was instantly pronounced dead, and so too was the relationship between hippo and human. As far as the tour guide swallowed whole, Paul Templer was well aware of the trouble caused when male hippos actively defend their territory. He's seen a number run aggressively at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, and one such beast was galloping along the banks of the Zambezi when it swallowed him whole. Templer had been leading a group of kayakers on a stretch of land he was well familiar with, having worked there for many years, when suddenly, and without warning, the grouchy old two-ton bull carried out the occasional half-hearted attack. He told Guardian, Templer claims the animal made full use of his giant teeth as he began mauling the helpless guide, and doctors later counted almost 40 large gashes and teeth marks all over his body. The beast had gone berserk, throwing him into the air and shaking him like a dog with a doll. Templar survived to tell the tale. Yet the other 500 humans a year don't come out so lucky. What other animals are much more dangerous than most people think? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.